There have been countless situations throughout history where the NCAA fined programs, banned players, took away awards, really anything you can think of just for making money off of their skill and who they are. Now when it comes to payment of players, there's not a direct, here you go, here's some cash. Instead, they get paid in tuition, but that's not always the case. With over $3.6 billion being allocated for athletic scholarships, it's only at a Division I and Division II level, and even at those two levels, not every player gets a scholarship or a full scholarship. And if you're at a D3 level, you're not afforded those same opportunities. Division three players have to pay for college like everybody else, except how do they do that with the schedule that they have? I mean, they have our normal academic schedule on top of lift, practice, games, travel, everything imaginable. So they don't have time to go get a job like I did in college because their schedule's insane. And then on top of that, you're not able to actually make any money off of who you are. So if you build a following of 500,000 people on TikTok, you're not allowed to make money off of that. That's how crazy the NCAA was. So finally, as of July 2021, NCAA student athletes are finally able to make money off of things like that. So with that obviously comes a ton of money and a ton of different deals. So these are the top seven highest valued NIL athletes at the current moment. And on a list of college athletics money making, you would expect football and basketball to be pretty significant players in this. And they are. And you'll see on this list though, it gets a little bit interesting. Coming in at number seven is Ohio State quarterback CJ Stroud. With his nearly 230,000 social media followers, along with the fact that he's likely to be a pretty high first round pick in the upcoming NFL draft, his NIL stock is continuing to rise every single day. What's missing of the equation? the money he's made. His NIL deals are reportedly worth around $2.4 million. That's just number seven on this list, so you can imagine, it gets a little crazy. With deals from EFUSE, Dr. Teals, along with other Buckeye wide NIL foundation deals, it's getting him a pretty penny. All of this places him at number three on the NIL football list and number seven overall on our list today. At number six, we currently have the Heisman Trophy winner, Caleb Williams. The USC wide receiver stock has obviously risen significantly in the last few months. Coming from his Heisman Trophy win and strong end to the season, he's increased about 25% just over the last 10 weeks. So it's a pretty significant number when you hear the final number. With around 215,000 social media followers, along with deals from Athletic Brewing Company, Fanatics, and many more, his total NIL valuation comes in at two and a half million dollars, just slightly above CJ Stroud. This is good for second overall in the college football NIL space, but it's just slightly behind an athlete from a sport you may not have expected to be on here. But that's what's so amazing about this NIL shift. Anybody can make money. As long as you can provide value to the brand that's paying you, you're gonna get your money. Athletes in all sports, ones that don't get national television deals, don't get national media coverage and traditional media coverage at that. Because thanks to the internet and building their own brand, they can make a shit ton of money. Although let's be real here. I'm talking about number five like she's nobody and that couldn't be further from the truth. No, she's an Olympic level athlete in her sport and represents Team United States in the Olympics. So. She's damn good. So with an NIL evaluation of about 2.6 million, LSU gymnast Olivia Dunn comes in at number five. Dunn is known as the most followed NCAA athlete with around 9 million total social media followers across TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. So yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're a gymnast or a college football athlete, you can kill it. The New Jersey native has deals with significant brands, Forever 21, American Eagle, Grubhub, Linktree, the list goes on. The girl has whales in her court. So not only is she an unbelievable talent on the mats, she's also unbelievably talented at building a brand and monetizing off of her abilities. And she's the highest female on this list by a pretty good margin, because as expected, we're back to college football at number four. However, this is the number one college football earner, so you'll see soon actually who makes up the rest. That number one college football NIL earner is Alabama quarterback Bryce Young. The future NFL top five draft pick is reportedly worth about $3.4 million in NIL deals. Wow. With his nearly 320,000 social media followers, 
which should show you the big gap between Olivia Dunn and probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular, current quarterback in college football. See how far that is? I mean, she built a significant brand. But anyway, back to Bryce Young. His stock is continuing to rise each day as we approach the NFL draft, even with Alabama not in the college football playoff. Him being a projected top five to top 10 pick, I'm sure is doing incredibly well for his brand. And it is, the numbers will back that up. And honestly, not having to actually play in the playoffs, which I'm sure he would prefer, and so would my significant other, he has more time to sign deals, so maybe it'll turn out as a positive for him money-wise. <laughs> I mean, with deals from Beats by Dre, Nissan, Dollar Shave Club, and a bunch of other very significant brands, it's gonna be a very interesting next six months for him while he collects his money and looks towards the draft. And he just kind of recently signed with CAA, so I'm sure him and his team are extremely excited to see what the next six months bring them. Probably a lot of money and a lot of exposure. And if you believe it, well, the next three on the list, yes, the top three, are not even in college yet. That's pretty nuts. However, number three on this list, you'll know the name guaranteed, at least the last name, because it's Arch Manning. Yes, a Manning. So you knew that NIL was a guaranteed success from the very beginning. He doesn't even need to be good at his sport, which he is, to land some NIL deals. I mean, he's a Manning. Regardless, he's gonna rake in some money just off of the name and brand that is the Mannings. However, as a Texas Longhorns commit, he is valued at $3.4 million in NIL currently. But unfortunately for us, and fortunately for him, a lot of the deals are much more private, so we're not sure of exact figures from which exact company that he's working with. He'll be entering his college freshman year at Texas next year with around 210,000 social media followers as a freshman in college. And he's being presented with an opportunity to take a very historic program back to the promised land and make himself a disgusting amount of money in the process. If you succeed at Texas as the starting quarterback, do you know how much money that you can make on NIL? And in case you didn't expect it, I mean, he's by far the number one high school football NIL athlete. Can't imagine that there's a tremendous amount more besides him. Because basketball realistically just still reigns supreme, especially at my generation of like Gen Z and below with their social media presence. California native and future Memphis Tiger, Mikey Williams comes in at number two. Yes, another high school athlete, but probably another one that you've heard of at least once or twice in your athletic life. Pairing his athletic prowess with his undeniable ability to go viral, he's a goldmine for brands. Sponsored by brands like Cash App, Puma, Lace Clips, he's worth around $3.6 million in NIL money. It blows my mind that a high school student could sign deals up to nearly $4 million, even if it's 10 or 50 deals combined. $4 million is unreal for a high school student and affording people opportunities that didn't have them before. And it's gonna be insane to see how quickly these kids can build full-on brand empires and generational wealth for their family. At 18 years old, number two, Mikey Williams, is already stacking the bread. Yet he's still decently far behind the number one NIL athlete in all of sports right now. It's a name that you Probably could have expected, and when you hear it, you're not gonna be too surprised. It's Bronny James. Duh. Besides maybe Michael Jordan, is there another household name in basketball history like LeBron James? Probably not. So of course, LeBron's son, Bronny James, has reaped many of those benefits. I'm not saying that he isn't a great player, it's just he's not a revelation, like a generational crazy talent like his dad was, and it's gonna be tough to live up to his dad's expectations. But similar to Arch Manning, I don't think it's gonna matter. It's gonna still make a boatload of money just off of the James name. And he's already doing so very early on. Honestly, it's amazing when you hear these numbers. It's so sick. When he enters the NCAA, he will dethrone Olivia Dunn as the most followed college athlete at 12 and a half million social media followers. So of course he has deals from brands like Beats by Dre and Nike and others that his dad already works with. All of those deals, make him worth an estimated seven and a half million dollars in NIL money. So yeah, I mean, Bronny is making a stupid amount of money at a very young age and just adding to the James legacy and generational wealth. However, entering college next season, just like the others on this list, I do feel that their play will have some sort of effect of whether or not these deals will continue to just absolutely explode 
or just come down and chill out just slightly. Regardless, brands are gonna want to have Bronny James on their team. I mean, just that national coverage and really global coverage for their brand and whatever it may be, it's worth it. Either way, man, Bronny is set forever and likely gonna stay atop the NIL list unless somehow Arch Manning becomes Peyton. But that's the end. What are your thoughts? Did you expect this? Did you think that high school kids would be leading the list? Soon I'm gonna be diving a little bit more in detail on any NIL, NCAA, and bringing guests on to the channel that actually work directly with implementing these at Division One programs. New kinds of videos are right around the corner as the new year approaches, and I am beyond excited to get working on them. I truly do appreciate every single one of you that continue watching this, have begun watching, and are being educated ever so slightly, I hope, and growing with me in sports together. It takes a team. Because together, we can build the playbook to win in the sports industry. Mike Kropchenko on Twitter, Instagram, Mike K Talk on TikTok, website linked down below, along with all the resources that I use to create this video. I thank you so much again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.